This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, using the Z Modeler brush, is there a way I can create a perfect proportional inset? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. And the question is asking about using the Z Modeler brush and creating a proportional inset on one of these polys. So the first thing I'm gonna do is navigate over here to my brush palette and I'm just gonna click this. And then down at the bottom here, I'm gonna locate the Z Modeler brush and just select that. And the Z Modeler brush is ZBrush's poly modeling tool set. And with this brush selected, if you hover over a poly, an edge, or a point, you're gonna be able to apply different poly modeling actions to your mesh. So in addition to just the default actions you can see here, if you hover over one of these context sensitive areas and then press spacebar on your keyboard, you'll be taken to a action menu. So as I hovered over the poly here and press spacebar, I'm gonna open up the Z Modeler poly action menu. And in here, you can see I have a bunch of different actions at the top, I have some targets and then some modifiers. So the question was asking about the inset functionality. So if I come up to the top here, you can see I have the inset action, I can just choose that. I'm gonna keep my target at a single poly and down at the modifiers, I'm gonna keep center and border on and then also inset each poly. So now that I have changed my poly action to inset, if I come across a poly here and click and drag, I'll perform an inset function on that poly. So you can see as I drag this out, it's going to inset this poly, which is gonna give me a new polygon here, and then it's gonna generate connecting polys around the edges. Now the question was asking about getting this to generate in a perfect proportional way. So as you'll notice, as I perform this inset action, the distance from this area to this area is larger than the distance from this area to this area. So I'm not getting a proportional inset on my poly here. So is there a way I can make this be proportional as I apply this action? So when you're applying this inset action on your model, there's two modifiers you can apply while doing this. So the first modifier is the shift modifier. So if I click and drag and then press shift on my keyboard, this is going to inset as a square. So this will always give you an inset that's going to generate a perfect square in the middle. So if I release shift, this is what I have with the normal inset. And then when I press shift, it's now going to generate a perfect square. So if you want to generate a perfect square on any part of your model, just make sure you have the inset option enabled, come across a poly, and as you're clicking and dragging, hold the shift key, and this will give you a perfect square. Now, the other option you have when using this inset functionality is as you're dragging this out, if you hold down the control key, this is going to give you a perfect proportional inset. So you can see as I drag this out and hold down control, you'll notice that the borders that are being generated with this inset all are the same distance now. So I no longer have this top border here being larger than the border on the side. So the process to do this again is make sure you have the inset option selected. As you click and drag, you hold down the control key and this will now give you a proportional inset. So you can see now I'm getting that nice inset option across that face there. Now this will work on any faces on your model as long as you only have the modifier of inset each poly selected. So if I hover over this poly here and press spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler poly action menu, you can see with the inset option selected, down here in the modifiers, there's this inset each poly. So this proportional option and also the square option will not work if you have the inset region option selected. So you wanna make sure that you have this modifier here turned on, and then if you come across a single poly on your model and click and drag, and then hold down that control key, this will now give you that proportional inset. So that is how you can come through and start generating proportional insets across any types of faces on your mesh. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.